I am way too excited for this. Welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 4, which is, of course, right behind me. And in this episode, we are going to be setting up an ME, or Matter Energy System. I I'm so hyped. Gone will be the days of these annoying chests and also the days of having to manually craft because I want to set up auto crafting, auto sheet stuff, auto mixing. I mean, you guys know the deal. Oh, it's so exciting. And then we'll be right on to chapter five, pretty much the end of it all. So that's, uh, we're almost there. So obviously things look a little bit different here. Uh, only a little bit different though. I just set up this system uh, to automatically craft the pure Surtis Quartz Crystals. That's because you need pure Surtis Quartz Crystals to make uh, 1k ME storage components. You need 1k ME storage components to make 4k and so on and so forth. So this guy is just a little manual thing. or Not manual, it's very much automatic. It's not super fast or anything like that, but I figured it was good enough. All right, let's just get right into it because I, I, I want to. I made up a bunch of these circuits. Uh, you only need a little bit of engineering processors, but I made a ton of logic and calculation since those guys are going to be very important, of course. And we are going to start cutting and moving and changing things. Um, I think, yeah, the ME controller doesn't get cut into anything. It's all turned into drives and stuff through here. So we want to make ourselves, of course, an ME drive. And if you're not familiar with ME or Matter Energy or Applied Energetics, then hopefully I'll do an okay job of explaining. We also probably want a crafting terminal, which is just going to take a regular terminal and then put it with a crafting table. So we will need an illuminated panel as well as these annihilation and formation cores. These guys are made by combining with the logic and the calculation presses, which is why I made so many of them. And we are going to definitely need a lot more of these. So it's a good thing I crafted up a ton of calculation mechanisms. We have we have plenty, 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 plenty. And as far as sourcing our fluix for fluix casing, we're just gonna we're just gonna buy it. There's no reason not to buy it. It's not even that expensive. Yeah, I mean look at that. Already 16. That's 32 fluix casing. We might not even need that at the end of the day. It's possible we won't, uh, because the ME stuff is literally pretty much just a matter energy system. Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't make anything other than this. Why am I dumb? Why did I think you used fluix for fluix casing? Well, okay, I guess I can see why I thought you used fluix for fluix casing. It's a lead plate though. Well, okay, that was a little bit of a useless excursion then. I don't know what my mind was going to, but there we go. We have plenty of controllers now to create plenty of formation and annihilation. Is it? It's annihilation and formation cores. These are going to be big crafting materials. And then an illuminated panel is not too bad. Just some glowstone, redstone, and this quartz glass. Quartz glass is any quartz dust put in an induction smelter. And what's really great is our nether quartz dust is super easy to get because we get a guaranteed two from crushing down regular granite and uh you know we have a little bit of granite like i, I wouldn't say we have like a lot of granite but maybe, you know twenty five thousand granite yeah and obviously i was preparing for this i we've got a little pulverizer over here i love my little pulverizer guy all righty we can make ourselves illuminated panels and then i'm pretty sure that is enough to make the me terminal right yep just a regular one and then we just need a crafting table which i actually think we have yeah laying around to make the me crafting terminal which is of course very useful and with the crafting terminal me drive and an me controller that is almost everything we do however need cables uh, and i think every cable pretty much starts with the fluix that's what we need fluix crystals for right right we need we need to make a bunch of these like a ton of these cables probably just gonna make as much as we can i mean this is what connects everything so mm, might as well make it good right and then we can use our fluix very nice so starting with 36 fluix me cables and i think we're gonna instantly upgrade these just because these can only handle like so much at once right there's like a system of channels i'm not super familiar with applied energistics I guess we shouldn't upgrade all of them since we're going to want these crafting units. At least one of these crafting units. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can like, yeah, yeah, you can encase them in wool to turn them into a covered cable. And that's, I think, pretty much enough. All things considered, it's pretty much enough. Um, I guess we'll have to shear our sheep, huh? Hello, ethical sheep. Give me your wool, please. I'm pretty sure we could just boop. Yep, nice. So these cables are upgraded little cables. And now it lo Oh, you know what? We're going to need an energy acceptor, aren't we? To make our lives easy and peasy. 
Um, that is really easy to make, though. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. So the energy acceptor is important because it's going to convert FE into AE. AE is the uh, energy system that applied energistics use. FE is the energy system that pretty much everything else uses. Um, so, you know, they just, I, I guess the developers just wanted to have their own system. Uh, so we get to use energy acceptors. <laughs> I think they should only need like a single magmatic dynamo that we can hook up to a ender tank with no problems. Um, I guess I would repurpose this, but I think I th if we're definitely going to need more than 49 pure service quartz crystals. Unless, can we buy service quartz? Am I being dumb? Oh. I am being dumb. We can just buy service quartz. I don't need this system. Okay. Well, I should have checked that first. I suppose we get some for free. Because service quartz counts as well. You can still make the 1Ks with them, I'm pretty sure. Yep, you can. So, I, I guess I'm just going to build it here. I mean, it doesn't have to be... Uh, it doesn't have to be anywhere. Because all this stuff is going to move. Because all of this stuff is pretty much going to be managed by auto-crafting. Um, I, I don't think I'll need it. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be fine. So, uh, we'll just set it up. So, energy acceptor is going to go here. We'll have the controller be visible, right? And the controller is just kind of like the center, right? I suppose a good way to describe it would be the heart of your applied energistic system. Everything has to be connected to the controller in some way. That is how the ME system is going to know. I'm going to call it an ME system. I, I don't know. If you guys call it like matter energy or apply energistics or anything like that. But I, I've always called it the ME system. But I know it's got like 19,000 names. There we go. There we go. There we go. And turn that around. That goes into the acceptor. And there we go. Beautiful rainbow colors. Gotta love it. Okay. We need a drive of some kind. And then we need the crafting terminal to attach somewhere and i'll put it like there and there we go we can open up our digital storage and scroll through it but of course we got nothing in it because these drives are completely empty so we need to make some storage stuff obviously we want to go all the way to a 64 but that one is a little expensive so we'll start small we'll make ourselves uh 1k i mean i guess we i guess we could just i don't know actually you know what we should have all the materials we need to make this we should have all the materials we need to make this. I, I don't think I don't think I should I should go big or go home, right? Isn't that, isn't that what they say? We are going to need our Certus Quartz trade, but of course that's gonna get us some good mileage, honestly. So in order to make a 64k, we are going to need to put down 27, I believe, 1k storage discs. That was just 16. And let's get that to 27. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Just enough resources. Awesome. So then for the 4Ks, we should be able to make all nine of them. Amazing. And then for the 16Ks, we are going to need some glowstone, which I do have pulverizing. I think we have like a few bits of glowstone dust laying around. I don't really. I could pulverize these too. But yeah, we got half a stack of glowstone from pulverizing it. That should be enough to make ourselves at least a 64K. So all three of you and then all one of you oh yeah but we're not done just yet because i think we need to make ourselves a regular old storage housing connect these guys together and da da da, da. we have 64,000 slots for any item so pretty much i could just dump stuff in here we're definitely going to need more of those, and I really don't want to go individually craft each and every one of them. So let's get into some auto-crafting. Uh, we are going to need a crafting coprocessor, which is just a crafting unit. Um, oh, I did the thing that I said I shouldn't have done, which was convert all of them at once. Whoops. I love being able to use this crafting table. It's so nice. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we should be able to make the crafting units. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, lead plates. Ah. Okay, with these lead plates, we can make ourselves... I think we're going to need two crafting units. One for the coprocessor and one for the actual, like, crafty bit. I, I don't know how it works, man. There's all these funky names. Uh, what do I need for the coprocessor? 
uh, engineering circuit, which is in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, cool. And then for this guy, we're going to need to fill it with one of the storage components. I I think in I think a 1k is all right. I I don't know. I I don't really I don't really know what the difference is, but the 1k is the easiest one to make, so we're going to do it. And uh I guess we could just hook this up visually, you know, we could like see it. Um so we'll connect it right to the storage. I think it should connect to this guy and then this guy and then that is our auto crafting well, i guess it doesn't need to even have a cable next to it can't it just be connected right to the controller right like i don't i don't need to yeah i don't need to mess around with anything so there we go uh so this is going to allow us to have some crafting stuff but we need uh i think it's called an interface in an emmy interface at least one we're going to want a molecular assembler, uh, which just needs a crafting table, which I can get. Okay, molecular assemblers are basically just auto crafting tables. That's what they are. Um, and there was one more thing I wanted. Pattern terminal. We need to make a pattern terminal so we can actually load up our auto crafts. Uh, which does require a crafting terminal. Which So we'll just go through the process of making that again. And nice and fast, a pattern terminal, uh, which I will just have extended next to our crafting terminal for good measure. And then we can get our interface and molecular assembler set up. Um, in newer versions, I'm pretty sure this is called like a pattern sender, but this is an older version of Planner Logistics. And all this stuff is basically just uh, this guy you put the patterns into, which are like crafting blueprints, and then it sends it into the molecular assembler. And then in these guys, this is where you set your pattern. So the first pattern we make obviously is not going to be auto crafted uh, because we don't have auto crafting set up. Wow, that is a uh, that is not cheap. Wow, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it was. Okay, yeah. Well, we can make this guy. So ironically, we're going to use the blank pattern to automate patterns. And the way we do this is in our pattern terminal, we put a blank pattern in here. We go to the recipe for a blank pattern. We can hit move items. It loads it up here. We click that. And there we go. So when I put this inside of our ME interface, you can see it visually changes to a blank pattern. And if I go here, you can see we can craft if, if we had enough, right? It'll tell us we're missing lead plates, everything else we have enough of. Uh, and the next thing I want to set up an auto craft for is actually lead plates. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, a crafting table can't make lead plates, but these guys can. So that, that's where a play energistics gets interesting. This is so cool though. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so nice. I love being able to auto craft. So convenient, so convenient. But with lead plates, so auto crafting can auto craft, right? Of course, if, if something needs something you don't have, it can make it. But obviously, we can't just put lead ingot and tell it it'll have a lead plate, because if we put a lead ingot in here, it's going to make lead nuggets. What we have to do is click on this to turn it into a processing pattern, where we tell it to put one lead ingot in and expect a lead plate out. We can encode that pattern, and we do need another terminal for this, because this, this terminal is going to go... Um, or, uh, sorry, ME terminal. Sorry, interface, not a terminal. I got it right the first time. Uh, now we're missing basically everything. Okay, wow. This interface is actually going to connect to this guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure this interface can connect to this guy. Uh, or maybe not. Or maybe not. Now I don't remember. So for this next bit, we're going to need an import uh, bus, I think it's called. No. Oh, yeah. ME import bus. Uh, the reason we want an MA import bus, what are we missing here? Oh, just about everything. We need a sticky piston. Aw. And hey, you know, if you're enjoying the video and this series so far, definitely make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future uploads. There, of course, are my quartz fiber. I knew I would find them. Uh, it really does mean the world to me. And I think we're going to like, we're either at 6,000 or we are like just under 6,000 subscribers when this video goes up, which is absolutely insane. You guys beat me to the 5,000 subscriber special. So thank you so much. Keep up the amazing work. Th this channel, this channel is amazing. You guys are amazing. So to get this auto crafting working, we are going to need something called an ME import bus. And this is going to pull items from an inventory it's on uh, i think you can filter here and there i don't know if we'll have to filter 
but we will want to, of course, connect this up to the system. And we can do that with these cables, right? As long as the cable, I believe, as long as the cable is touching something connected to the controller, it's hooked up. Oh, and of course, we're going to want to connect. Uh, what are you doing, bro? What the day? Okay, he left. Um, no, 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 no. Left. There we go. They left. Uh, we want to put this down and connect it. Uh, does it get a little effect? I don't know. Uh, you go in there. So that should that should mean that we can actually like send lead over here. So if if we go here, do we have the? Yep, we have the option to autocraft lead. So if I do this, uh, uh, all right, maybe we just simply use a hopper with the interface. It's unfortunate because then we're gonna have some ugly exposed cables but once again this is just proof of concept and also kind of for me to understand what we're doing here because i i'm new to uh, play energistics i'm not really that good at it uh hopefully this works <laughs> let's see what oh wait don't i need an export as well Okay, as far as I'm aware, you need to wire from this guy into an exporter. I I think is that is I think I think I think I think. So we will we will need to make uh, an export bus. Hopefully we can. I have more lead. Just trying to automate lead, and I keep having to make the lead, and and it's it's getting to me, guys. It's getting to me. There's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps. I like my refined storage. Uh oh, oh, that's not good. The importer seems to import. Hmm. Hmm. It just pulls right out of it, don't it? Shoot. That's no good. Is that the only filter slot available? I imagine that's a filter slot. Uh. I guess we need a capacity card? basic card oh more lead okay well we can filter out lead plates at the very least so that that'll start helping so then if i put an export bus on this and i pull i guess as long as it's pulling from this guy we're good i think it has to pull from this guy but if it does then we're golden probably <laughs> i have no idea I suppose this doesn't need to be there, or this, or this. So that's all nice. Uh, well, I guess we'll try it. I guess we'll try it. Oh, how do I... How do I craft if I've already got one in there? Well, okay. I guess for now, I'll just take it out. Alright. Uh, lead plate. Make one. No! What if I just, for now, put the export bus right there, and then it was connected exclusively to this guy? Is that how it works? Because I feel like that should be how it works. Uh, go. Yeah! Now you don't work. Really? You can't- Really? You're blocked by a- Seriously? I didn't, I didn't know that about a- Seriously? I didn't know that. That's incredible. But technically that auto-crafted a lead plate. <laughs> uh, but also not really. Well, I suppose the export bus could then come around the front here. Then we should be okay. Okay, so if I said craft me 10 of these plates. There we go. There we go. It's working. Yes. Crafting status done. 10 lead plates. Oh, finally. So even if we have something that requires lead plates inside of it, it can auto-craft the lead plates. Uh, and then from this point onward, auto-crafting is the name of the game. I think I'm probably going to set up auto-crafts for all of the different mechanisms, except, of course, for this one, which passively crafts itself. Uh, so we'll need to get different assembly lines set up. I mean, we, we have, like, work cut out for us on getting a really nice, you know, um, ME system set. But, huh, nice. 
Very pleased, very pleased with this. So now, if I have the Certus Quartz crystals inside of this, I can craft the four blank patterns that we're going to need. Beautiful, beautiful. That's so helpful. And these guys are, of course, we're going to do... Oh, uh, wait. I think I coded that one bad. Did that? Did I code that with charged? Nope, just regular Certus Quartz. Okay, good. So that's 1K. Let's code 2K. And then we're going to code 3K. And then we're going to code 6, or I'm sorry, 1K, 4K, 16K, and then code 64K. And all of these are just going to go whoop, 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 whoop. And if I, yeah, when they're in here, we can see what they make. We can see what we need. So that means I can select uh, 64K, and it will tell us how much we need for the entire thing. So we actually just need to throw it some more service quartz and some more calculation mechanisms. So I guess we should probably set up auto crafts for both of those. Okay, while you're watching this time lapse of me set up some auto crafting, I figured I would just time lapse it because none of the actual like create mod structures are any different and all the automation is going to be pretty much exactly the same. It's mostly just moving stuff around. I ended up putting stuff underground because I thought it would look better underground rather than overground and I th there's just nothing revolutionary. We're going to do our Q&A of the day. Yes, yes, yes. Coming in from guess where? The Discord, which has been popping off and is closing in on that 500 discord members so join claim your ticket seriously it's an absolute blast but why why don't we go into that q a of the day the very special time where your questions are answered and this one is coming in from compachari compachiro Pocho. i think i don't know unfortunately i'm bad at pronouncing names on a good day uh however they ask if i received support from family and friends when I decided to become a YouTuber, uh, or was it like something I made on my own? Uh, I mean, I had their support and it was my own decision. Uh, nobody, nobody was like, ah, oh, that's, you shouldn't be a YouTuber. Everyone was like, all right, let's try it. It wasn't like I'd not uploaded videos in the past, but, uh, it was, it was nice. It, everyone was very, um, I, I don't know if like, I guess I, I, excited is probably the wrong term for it, but no one was upset. And they've been very excited, especially my family and friends, to hear about, like, how it has been going. All the subscribers, how, the success that we've been having here. So that's been, that's been really nice. Another thing I want to talk about during time-lapse time is Create Arcane Engineering. Yes, Create Arcane Engineering has come out. It is a very similar mod pack to Create Above and Beyond. I've checked it out, especially like the first two chapters are very, very similar. And not in like a copy way. The, the, the pack is very clear on the fact that it was inspired by Above and Beyond. And there are definitely differences. Um, but the structure of the entire pack is about the same. However, it goes a lot further. It's a lot longer, and it has a lot of Magitek mods in addition to Create, which I think is a very interesting thing. Um, I've loved Above and Beyond, and I think uh, Arcane Engineering would be just as fun, but I wanted to ask you guys in a video, what do you guys feel about a similar mod pack to this one? There'd be more magic, right? It, it would not be the same mod pack. I do want to be very clear. We would not just be playing more Above and Beyond. The world generation would be different. It's in a more recent version of Create, so steam engines and trains are present. In fact, I actually think it's in the most recent edition, so elevator pulleys and all that good stuff is all present in the mod pack. So think create above and beyond, but way more. Um, yeah, it just, it seems like create above and beyond, but way more, which is, which I think is exciting. I think that's a super exciting idea, uh, but I do of course very much value all of your opinions. Okay, that, that took a ton of time. Uh, that took a lot longer and I just realized I covered everything up so I can't really do an overview. I gotta go back in. Um, It's a mess. Right, it's a mess. I don't really get how apply energistics work. Every once in a while, something would break, so I'd replace some cables with a better cable, and then things would keep working. I think it has to do with the channels. I don't know. Um, but I have everything auto-crafting. I've got an auto-crafter for Certus Quartz, since it's basically used for everything. This barrel, the way it works, I think this is actually kind of cool. This guy will output um, the proper mechanisms into the barrel. 
get sorted by the andesite tunnels and then auto craft into each of the different mechanisms so we have mechanism auto crafting uh we can do induction smelter auto crafting i've got one for quartz glass since we need it we have the press but that one's a little finicky because of the import cable uh, and then I just have our kinetic mechanism barrel because we had like 6,000 mechanisms left over. So no reason to start using these guys just yet. I, fi I figured we would just keep it that way. So now I, I should be able to pretty much whenever I want order a disc. So, oh my gosh, you can hear it all running below us. It'll take a little bit. It'll take a little bit to craft. That sounds so cool. Oh, oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, so it just, it takes a little bit. But there we go. Look at that. Oh my. Oh, that's so amazing. I'm so hyped about that. I just want to use this time to say thank you so much to the members of this channel. They are helping this channel and me become closer and closer to becoming a full-time content creator. So if that's something you'd be interested in, subscribe and become a member.